You know what? As a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I have to be honest. Yami Merrick was a terrible villain. And I'm not just saying that either. I mean, even in the context of Yu-Gi-Oh, where the whole plot line is about, you know, a children's card game and everything like that, and a card game tournament trying to decide the fate of the world, Yami Merrick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and say it. I think he was a scrub. Like, he was a straight up scrub duelist. And that's because of one particular card. And it'll just be easier if I show you. Next, I think I'll do away with your pathetic little trap. As I play the magic card, remove trap. Good riddance. Remove trap? Seriously? Remove trap. Starter deck material. I realize the first generation Yu-Gi-Oh decks weren't that good by all means, but of all all the cards that Yami Merrick could have put in his deck. And he's supposed to be the big boss villain of the, you know, Battle City arc and everything like that. And he puts Remove Trap into his deck. I, I don't get it. Furthermore, when you throw in the context that he literally has an army or gang or whatever you want to call it of, of goons who go around challenging other people, you know, at this children's card game. To, to snag all the rare cards and everything like that, you would think that he would have like every single rare card he could possibly want, you know, uh, you know, under the rainbow to just throw into his deck and make the ultimate deck. But nope, apparently the starter deck material is the is the way to go. Yeah, that's that's great. That's uh, maybe maybe that was really meta and we didn't realize it back then. But uh, I'm gonna stick by what I what I think. I think I think Yami Merrick was a scrub using remove trap of all cards. Like seriously. Ah! Yeah!